Welcome to InSearchOfAdventure.Live. I'm Lance. I'm Teresa. Join us as we go on another adventure. Come along. On this adventure, we go into the Grand Teton National Park. We hit a lot of sites, um, actually across a few different days, um, but enjoy. Yes, this is the first time that we've been to the Tetons. Hope you enjoyed some of those views of Jenny Lake. It is spectacular. Lots of great views there. Um, on the next part, we're going to go to the um, other side of Jenny Lake where the creek goes out. There's a bridge there. Uh, there's a little note on the video that shows how to get there. Enjoy it. And you'll notice that the same people are showing up in this video. Our good friends, um, Tom and Jamie, came with this. It was their first time with Tetons, also. And you'll see a little bit of laughter there when she's testing the waters for us. See how cold it is. Yes.
we're going into the Jackson Lake Dam area. Uh, it's an area we heard a lot of sightings of animals and wanted to check out. There's a little bit of a, or a good number of places to walk around there. One of the things I noticed with the Jackson Lake Dam, uh, where that stops and then the river that flows afterwards is the Snake River. I had no idea that that's kind of the, the start of it after the Jackson Lake, so that's kind of interesting. I always think of Snake River as being really fast, but uh, just downstream from the dam, it's not that, that bad. You can see paddleboard boarders and kayakers easily floating down it. Jackson Lake there was a trail uh, on the lake side rather than the dam side we took that trail it was paved and went up for a little bit and uh, at some point turned to, to uh, dirt but it was really neat to get all those views of the water and the mountains right there and we came across um, a young couple that were fishing and you'll see the difficulties that you can have while you're fishing off of the bank on that trail <laughs> Success! we kept coming back to was the Snake River just below the dam. We'd heard um, feedback there were it was good animal sighting area, potentially even bears. So we came back there a number of times. Yes, um, this night we brought our dinner so we could sit and watch our friend follows bear 399, the grizzly bear with the four cubs. Sadly, we couldn't see her that night. No, we, we didn't come across any bears. We did see some white pelican, white American pelicans. Um, even saw um, two different times we went there. We've seen eagle, uh, eagles in a tree way far off w that we could see with the binoculars. And um, a number of other um, ducks and uh, geese and even saw a beaver.
days later, we went back into the park and went to an area called Kelly to a restaurant there uh, to try that out. And uh, also heard that was a good area to look for possible other sightings. Yes, the food was good. And on the way, there's a moose. So we drove, we kept driving back and forth, back and forth to get pictures because there was no place to pull over where we saw the moose. So I even jumped in the driver's seat so he could get the pictures. <laughs> and we did get a few. Uh, it was it was great to finally see a moose after so many uh, yeah. places of looking and trying. enjoyed the video. We love sharing our adventures and our RV travels together. Hope you'll join us on the next one. Please subscribe and hit that like button. Thank you for joining ISO Adventure in search of adventure.life.